So tell us a bit more about what's really happening here in terms of the raw numbers. Okay. Hi, Yusuf. Well, first of all, you know, we have uh, a meeting, you know, this week in uh, Vienna. It's a technical meeting between OPEC and non-OPEC. Ru the Russians are joining in. This is part of the roadmap for, you know, the, for implementing the agreement uh, in Algeria, the CUT agreement, uh, as announced by, you know, the Qatari uh, energy minister, Mohammed Assad, you know, a few days ago. So this meeting, yeah, you know, the Russians and OPEC countries will sit down, they will discuss all the scenarios, the numbers, uh, and what, what is the best, you know, number to freeze at or cut at. They will be looking at the, at the cut scenario, they will be looking at the freeze scenario, and, you know, the implications of every scenario on oil prices. So this is what's happening in the moment, as you, as you can see. You know, OPEC is producing, according to, you know, to uh, 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 primary numbers, uh, above 33 million barrels of oil uh, a day. But, you know, the agreement uh, in Algeria, uh, it, you know, it says that OPEC has to maintain, you know, a ceiling of 32.5 to 33. So whether it's going to be a cut or a freeze, it all depends on the talks in Vienna uh, these days. And they're going to continue on with these talks until November 30. What else are you watching that, that might define the next few weeks? Well, it all depends now on the Russians. You know, OPEC countries, they have, you know, they have this uh, framework agreement in Algeria. But the Russians, they are still looking at you know, many different scenarios. They are reluctant to say whether they're going to cut or freeze. They are, you know, more with a freeze. Now, a freeze. Yeah, this might not, you know, reduce supply in the market, you know, by, by much. Uh, OPEC countries, you know, themselves, there's still some division between OPEC countries on who should freeze and at what level and what data can be used. Uh, for example, Iraq is unhappy with, you know, OPEC decision to use uh, secondary data uh, to, you know, to, to calculate uh, each, each member share of the cut. And you also have Iraq at the same time uh, saying that you know they want to be exempted from you know from the the cut deal. So if you ha if you have Iraq saying no cut and you have uh, uh, Iran saying no cut and you have an exemption for, Alg for for Libya and you have an exemption for Nigeria, this doesn't leave you know uh, you know uh, room for many uh, you know uh, members to cut, the, and the pressure will be you know transferred to the Gulf members. Uh, you know, and mainly Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Arabia has to sacrifice the most. They have to cut the most. Will the Saudis be, you know, uh, happy with this? It's still, you know, we, we are waiting to see, you know, over the coming few weeks what would happen, you know.